my name is Michael Flower. I work for Education Services with an Ingress. I'm going to give a quick overview of how to download and install the Ingress Database Workbench on a Linux desktop. Here's our Linux desktop environment. Uh, we're going to um, open up firstly ESD uh, on the website esd.ingress.com. From there we choose Community Projects. Uh, and from in there we choose uh, development tools and then the platform we want to install is the Linux operating system and it will give us an option for this where we can download from. For speed I've actually already downloaded it onto my desktop and let's have a look at what we've got on our desktop now. Okay we have a zip file on our desktop I'm going to open the zip file and to install IDW we simply drag the folder let's drag it onto our desktop for now and it will extract that from the archive. Okay, if I close down the zip, here we now have on our desktop IDW, and by double clicking there, it'll set open up another folder. And within, we've got IDW bin. If I double click on this, it will launch the Ingress database workbench. Okay, the first time we um, launch IDW, we'll get this welcome screen. Uh, we can close that, and it will then show us the main environment for IDW itself. Um, the Ingress database workbench can be used to connect to a, a local database or a remote database. It needs the Ingress DAS running on the remote end on the back end in order to be able to connect through to the DAS. Uh, let's select the databases option from here by right clicking, and let's create a new connection. Uh, the type of connection we want, uh, going through the wizard here, is an ingress one. Uh, I'll leave the name as uh, new ingress for now, but we could change that. Next, the driver we want to select is going to be the ingress JDBC driver, and by selecting that, it filled in some of the boxes beneath as well. Uh, we may want to connect to a different database other than DemoDB. We may also want to connect to a different machine other than localhost, uh, or even a different listen address here. We've got II7 for now. Uh, to make sure all those connections are successful, we can actually down here uh, use the test connection option and it will work out whether that connection is successful. There we are, it's been OK. Let's press OK. And then next, and that will just confirm what we've uh, defined and finish. OK, now on our left pane, on our data sources pane, we'll then see that we've got um, a new entry here called new, data, new ingress. Let's expand that a little bit. Okay, by expanding now on this particular node, we'll see where there's our demo DB. And if we expand again, we can drill down all the way down and see all the schemas. So I've got some option or schemas owned by Dollar Ingress and others owned by the Ingress user as well. So if we now drill down and look at the tables, we can see all the tables which exist within this database. <coughs> 